The cameras and mobile phones are improving at an alarming late rate and until recently if you had asked me would, would I ever make the transition from uh, landscape photography using a dedicated uh, photo camera to a mobile phone I would have told you no. Um, there was never anything on the market that would make me want to, want to move into mobile phone landscape photography. What we have come out recently with a couple of real beasts when it comes to photography. Uh, the P20 Pro and the Mate Pro. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal cameras in those. And most recently now we have the P30 Pro, which is what I bought. And there is another photographer out there, a guy by the name of Tim Day. Tim, loving your channel, loving your work, excellent stuff. If you want to have a look at Tim's channel, he is the landscape phonographer. Uh, go have a look, I'll put a link down below. And Tim also bought the P30 Pro. And has recently posted that he's not a big fan of it. Tim upgraded from the P20. I don't know if it's the Pro or the Mate, uh, to the P30. I upgraded from a complete piece of crap. If this is not, this is not going to be for you tech guys. It's a simple opinion on my new phone and its ability to take landscape photographs. Right, first photograph. Um, everything that you would want. A little bit of nature, a little bit of man-made, and of course some uh, fluorescent moss. Mm, we do like a bit of fluorescent moss us, us landscape photographers. So I've set up uh, half and half. We have got fluorescent moss down the side, some lovely uh, green trees. The light's just catching it a little bit. I'm hoping we're going to get a little bit of light coming in from the left hand side. The sky is very much grey, dull, flat at the minute. Uh, good for photographing water. Uh, so you don't get those specular highlights. Uh, not so good for anything else. You want a little bit of light to come through the trees just to, just to highlight uh, and just, you know, just, just lift certain areas and just give a little bit of interest. Um, but all in all, good photograph. Mossy rock to the right, a uh, little cascade to the left. Man-made bridge is, the, is just poking out from behind the trees. Uh, the sky is blowing out. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because even putting on, I've got a three-stop filter on here and I've got a two-stop ND grad on. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that. And to be honest with you, this could be a Photoshop job. I might have to just get this into into Photoshop and clone in some trees. Which is the matter. So I've taken a couple of shots, focused for the foreground, uh, and then focused about three quarters away into into the image itself. And I'm just waiting for some light. So, uh, yeah, I am very pleased with that photograph. Uh, composition number two is literally 15 feet away. I do love it when a second composition just pops its head up and says, uh, well, what about me? And uh, so I'm just going to take a look at it. I thought from the distance, 15 feet away, uh, I thought it was a, a fern. It's not a, a lone fern. I do like a lone fern. Uh, but what we have here is the walkway down to where I am is cut out of the natural rock. So we've got this little 
uh, plant, fern, green thing, and uh, it's just perfectly situated to have that in the foreground and have these steps running up through the rocks. Loads of green, of green. And uh, let's see how the, the, the phone deals with the, uh, the, the dynamic range of this one. Because the fern itself is in the light, and the, 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 the wee walkway, the wee rocks, is very, very dark. So let's see how it deals with this. Okay, what do we have? Um, this little plant. A little bit, a little bit of shrubbery. We want a shrubbery. Uh, rock formations at the back and not fluorescent green. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to focus on the little plant in the foreground. The photograph of that. We're going to focus on the darker area in the background. One for sharpness, two for the difference in exposure. I'm going to take a shot of that. The Huawei P30 Pro has got dedicated uh, lenses on here. It's got a port grade lens. Uh, which throws some kind of uh, bokeh uh, pixie dust. Uh, so use uses software to, to blur out the background. I uh, can't see myself ever using that. Uh, it, but it has a dedicated wide angle lens. And we're just going to give that a, give a little go here. And I'm going to take the wide angle off the steps, the little plant, the bridge and the river. I have to say I'm, I'm quite impressed with the, uh, what it actually gets in when it goes wide angle. Um, now we've got a massive shift in a massive shift in uh, in, uh, in focus and on exposure. So this could end up being three photographs. I have to say one of the most annoying things about mobile phone photography is the screen keeps these resetting. I must remember to change this to maybe you know, a 60 or two minute uh, report if we're shut down when I'm doing landscape photography. So again, we've got our little plant. Let's focus on the little plant. Boom. We'll focus up here for the shadows. We're going to focus over here for the bridge. And then we're going to focus back there for the highlights. So, different day, different uh, location. Uh, all the images you've seen up to this point have all been JPEGs. So I've given them a good run out and now we've moved on to the RAW files. We're shooting, uh, shooting in RAW, 40 megapixels on this P30 Pro. Uh, and what have we got as a, as, a, as a composition? Well, we've got a little barn house, uh, an old derelict farmhouse and a few trees and some amazing uh, leading lines. So I think you can see them here. They're getting ready to lift this in. Grass is all cut for the silage, so they're getting ready to take this in. And uh, I tried to get this last year, but uh, I was literally a couple of hours just too late. They'd already come and started to lift it all. So as you can see, we've got this, this leading line. Raises up to the little barn house, the trees on the right. I don't know if I'm going to put in the, uh, the house on the left and we have got the telegraph pole in the middle of the photograph. So there's a little bit of photoshopping to do to take the telegraph pole out. Um, but as I say, I'm more interested in testing out the capabilities of the P30 Pro here today. Uh, we're now onto these, these uh, raw images, uh, 40 megapixels uh, on a camera sensor, and we're going to give that a run for its money and see what we can get out of those. So, we'll let that one go, and I think I found another little 
uh, composition back here. I've got this tree. It's very noisy down here. Crows are going absolutely nuts. So I've got this tree here. Uh, I'm just going to find a leading line. Yeah, because it's difficult. Because there's about a thousand of them here. And uh, so just another composition. We're going to have a leading line leading up to the tree. I think this one might be a, more of a vertical. And uh, let's see if we can get another image. These lines are a little bit straighter. So I think I need a, a little few rows up. Uh, I'm disappointed in the uh, in the sky. There's a, just a little bit of a glow behind the tree. Um, I thought there might have been more, but unfortunately the sun is setting on that side. And there's, as you can see, there is uh, just too much cloud and there's no sky, sun getting through. But we'll persevere. We'll hang around for another little while and uh, we'll see what we can get. Now, our little our little barn is still in this shot, so I'm going to try and get down as low as I possibly can, get right down to the ground and see if I can isolate this tree um, against the horizon, against the sky, and uh, we'll see how that one turns out. Um, yeah. I'll shoot, uh, I'll shoot portrait and then I'll shoot landscape, try and get a few of these leading lines in, but for the most part, portraits we're going to have one or two. Oh, boy. 